what is the greatest current threat that is facing Daredevil, Matt Murdock? Now that Daredevil has made his official MCU debut, his series, as well as the rest of the Defender saga has been added to Disney Plus's official MCU timeline. This seems to confirm the events that we find in these shows are canon to the mainline MCU of Earth-616. In the Daredevil series specifically, there were a few remaining plot threads that were left hanging, one of which in particular could see Matt Murdock's life uprooted in the next couple of years in a way that he has never faced before. So today, let's discuss the implications of Matt Murdock's final confrontation with Wilson Fisk in the Netflix series, and how this tells us directly what is in store for him in the MCU. In the third and the final season of Daredevil on Netflix, Matt finally confronts Wilson Fisk and the two battle to a standstill with Matt eventually laying out the exact terms and conditions for how the future of the two would play out. Earlier in the season, Fisk learned of Daredevil's secret identity and knows that he is the lawyer Matt Murdock. This is a massive liability for Matt, and now that we have a sense of where the street-level conflict is going in the MCU, this will play a massive role. Matt does have an insurance policy against having his identity revealed, but upon further examination, it may not be quite as strong as Matt seems to believe it is. At the end of the third season, Vanessa Fisk orders the execution of Agent Ray Nadim, and this is the blackmail that Matt holds over Fisk's head. He states that if Kingpin ever reveals Matt's secret to the world, that he would have Vanessa locked away for the rest of her life, and that he would never stop until she rotted in prison. But is this a credible threat? It doesn't seem so under closer examination. We know that Fisk has substantial financial and political power, and Matt addresses the concern of having Vanessa moved. He says that Fisk can ship her off to some non-extradition country, but since his home and empire is in New York, that he would not be able to see her often at all, and she would never again be allowed to step foot on American soil. Throughout the Daredevil series, Fisk searches for a reason to continue expanding his grand empire, and he builds everything he has with the intention of caring for Vanessa. While this is a valid threat, it's a glass cannon rather than a silver bullet. Once Matt pulls his card, then there is nothing that he can do to protect himself from Fisk, and all it would take is for Fisk to call his bluff or find a way to outsmart Matt in order to completely ruin his life, his reputation, and have his secret exposed to all the world. Now, we seem to know where Fisk's journey is going, and if he still knows Daredevil's identity. Assuming that this detail has not been retconned, then there are numerous ways that he can still use this against Daredevil. Recently, we released a video that suggested that Fisk was going to launch a campaign against masked vigilantes in New York, and specifically, that he would be doing this from the office of mayor. This was in accordance with multiple rumors and leaks that had been circulating, and now we have much more evidence to suggest that this is exactly what's going to occur. For a more in-depth breakdown of this exact idea, however, we encourage you to watch that video as well. At the end of Echo, it indicates to us that Wilson Fisk is very interested in the mayoral race, and how no one candidate in particular seems to stand out. The reporters talk about their specific qualities that they'd like to see in a candidate, and how even though it's late in the race, there's still time for an unknown to sweep in and win the election. The important part of this scene is that this is met with notable interest from Kingpin, and the scene is clearly meant to display his interest in running for the office of mayor of New York City. As of right now, the rumored plot for Spider-Man 4 revolves around a sort of street-level civil war, and the claim is that Mayor Fisk is crashing down on vigilantes including Spider-Man and Daredevil. In lieu of the Sokovia Accords being repealed, superheroes are now unrestricted except by the laws of the countries that they work in. But we know that the Accords had overwhelming support from over a hundred different countries, and likely had immense public support as well. The remainder of this theory delves into exactly how the Daredevil series, the Sokovia Accords, and the trial of Frank Castle are building Fisk's case, and that he may have a legitimate point. But as far as what this specifically means for Matt Murdock, what can we expect from Fisk if he is in fact elected as mayor? If his campaign seeks to unmask vigilantes, then he knows exactly where to direct his forces if they want to find Daredevil, even if Matt does have blackmail over Fisk. However, if Matt is being arrested and has to fight his own court battle to answer for his actions as Daredevil, then he might never get the chance to prosecute Vanessa. 
If Matt's identity is exposed, then he would be legally responsible for everything that Daredevil has done over the past decade, and this would immediately fill Matt's time. Even if he was somehow able to evade incarceration, being on the run is not exactly the best position from which he can take Vanessa down through the legal system. It doesn't actually seem that Matt has any considerable leverage over Fisk at all if the Kingpin is able to play his cards right. All he has to do is realize that he has the potential to fight back against Matt and cripple his ability to arrest Vanessa. Once Fisk figures this out, then he might be able to create a situation in which mutually assured destruction cripples both of them. But Fisk is in a position to come out better than Matt if this is true. We already know what it looks like when a superhero, or rather, several at a time are on the run. In Infinity War, we got a glimpse into what Captain America and his secret Avengers have been up to in the process of evading the laws of over a hundred countries. Led by Black Widow and her espionage expertise, they have been able to lay relatively low and only get involved when absolutely necessary. But it's also important to understand just how many resources they had at their disposal. Not only did they have each other, but they were able to smuggle some of the Avengers technology, including even a Quinjet to help them while they were living on the streets. Matt doesn't have this luxury at all, and he has committed far more crimes than any of the Avengers ever did. From breaking and entering, to countless charges of assault, and potentially even assault with a deadly weapon, if his billy club of course qualifies, Matt has a much more severe uphill legal battle than the Avengers did even. Most of the time, the Avengers fought aliens, Ultron drones, or each other, which is to say that the Chitauri and the Ultron drones didn't have legal human rights to protect them. So then, what is Matt's counterplay here if this all comes to bear? What assets does Daredevil actually have to protect his identity against Kingpin? Right now, he only has Fisk's fear and his word to keep him in line. The only thing preventing Kingpin from blowing them both into oblivion is his fear that Matt can actually carry out his threats. If Fisk arrests Matt and succeeds, and the dust settles on their conflict with Matt in prison for the rest of his life, Matt can tell whoever he needs about Vanessa. Right now, Kingpin's only option is for Matt to die, and Matt's only option seems to be the same. After all, if the dust settles the other way, and Fisk is the one who winds up in prison, he can also tell anyone he wants about Matt's double life. And if he's in prison, then there's no reason for Vanessa to stay. Kingpin going to prison could actually be very bad for Daredevil, making it that much easier for Vanessa to get away and leave Matt completely exposed to having his identity revealed. This stalemate seems to be the only reason why either of them are in a position of relative security. But this safety is certain to be short-lived, and a war is certainly brewing. Once the street-level conflict expands, one of them is bound to break. And if the events of Daredevil Season 3 are still canon, then we might see Fisk take Matt Murdock down with him. But anyway, my friends, what do you think of this idea and this war between Daredevil and the Kingpin? Can Wilson Fisk ensure Matt's destruction? And is Vanessa truly in danger? Or is Matt overestimating his ability to take her down through the legal system? Thank you as always, my friends, for tuning in to today's video. It means the world to us. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great one.